one and then, and then you're, you're going to come up. Are you back to this side? That woman way in the back. I thank you uh, for coming to New Hampshire. Uh, I'm a teacher, and most of my students are military kids. And if you think most of you that have been in the military will agree with me, that it's just not the fighters themselves that come back damaged and have problems after you know the deployments. Um, also, my brother was 20 years in the army. He's totally disabled and unemployable. So I, I've seen a lot of this upstate. Up and uh, I've got a yes or no question for you. And then just one if you want to give um, you know, your opinion on it. Uh, one, could you use your bullet bullet, please, for those of us with military deployments and for the people that suffered during 9-11 to get 28 pages declassified so we know everything that happened, you know, with the 9 11 report? I don't know what the 28 pages are. Uh, there are 28 pages of the report on 9 11 that have been classified and they won't let people know what they are. Um, and so, would, would you use, you know, you can read up on it, we'll give you websites and stuff. Okay, have a look at it. And, 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 so so yeah. and then, and then, that's Since I don't have classified information, I can't okay. tell you what it is, to tell you whether it should be declassified. I know where to go though, it's the Chinese because they have got <laughs> this, this be, I'd love to get the information. As it relates to the vet. The second question. Uh, the real question. What's your uh, what's your feelings and uh, everything about the remilitarization of Japan and the whole deal going on in the East and South China? Very troubling as we pull back, as we send a signal. The president says there's a red line, I'm serious, take it to the bank, and then says, well, never mind. Or when the president says that ISIS is the JV team, and then does nothing to create a strategy, in fact, he admits that there is no strategy, and ends up, it says, the signals don't just stop, like, in that region. That those signals are sent all around the world. And so, uh, Japan, I think, feels that the, the alliance with the United States is not a take to the bank kind of relationship. It's strong, but it's not a place where they see these pressing threats as China becomes more aggressive. China, as you pointed out, I think you're implying that they're building a, a military base in the middle of the South China Sea, 100 miles off their coast. That's an extraordinary act. And I don't think that would have happened had the United States sent signals that we weren't serious about maintaining our alliance with Korea, with Japan. That's a very provocative act. And so I think one thing to create a more peaceful world is for the United States to remain engaged in the world. When we pull back other countries then that have relied on us, maybe we should have greater financial responsibility for the countries that have benefited by, by our support. That, that's a legitimate point. But only the United States can work in partnership with countries to, to create a more peaceful world. That's not happening right now. Rod, you want to say something? I, I would love to. Uh, after our last talk, we, uh, we discussed uh, Proverbs 22.9, which is about feeding the poor. Um, and you asked for, you said you weren't sure if you had a solution. And so well, I, I, I had a solution, which was that you and I and everybody else here acts on their heart to take care of their neighbors when they need it. And, uh, Which is um, actually a, a Republican from New York um, put in the Congress. Um, it's uh, called the, the Fighting Hunger Incentive, which is tax incentives. And it was gutted last year uh, to become a, a federal trade act. And um, so I just thought I'd bring that here. And if, if you're willing to do another prayer for peace with me today, um, I, I'm sure. Come on up, brother. <laughs> this is my friend Rod. <laughs> comes to a lot of events. Good Lord, we ask that you watch over all of us, make sure that disagreements don't turn into serious problems. I am praying for peace for all of us, for the sick and infirm, that we act on our sense of consciousness to help them in their times of need, that this is a just and generous and loving country. May it always be that way. We ask all this in your own.
get to say hello to everybody. I appreciate you being here. Hope you have a wonderful weekend.